Welcome to Audit the Audit, where we sort out the who and what and the right and wrong of police interactions. Today's episode covers hazy circuit court rulings, illegal search and seizure, and interfering with a traffic stop, and comes to us from HBO Matt's channel. Be sure to check out the description below and give them the credit that they deserve. Let's dive right in and audit the audit. On January 16th, 2019, Truck driver Matthew Rankin was filming a traffic stop from the corner of a gas station when he was contacted by Officer Wayne Casey of the Peavley Police Department in Peavley, Missouri. The Peavley Police Department is a well-respected, highly disciplined staple of its community, and this interaction is a reflection of the department's professionalism and unceasing integrity. You got an ID with you? You have no ID with you? No, I'm not in my truck. Plus, it's not a stop and ID state. I'm not committing. No, it is. Crime. Do you realize you are in no, Missouri? Is it is now still illegal to record the police officers. I can seize your phone right now it's as a live evidence. Stream. It's a live That's stream, fine. So Let me see your phone. Go ahead and end it. No. Nope. End it right now. Or Sir, I will place you, you under arrest. A couple of felonies. It's Listen, it's do you understand what I just said to you? Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Do you understand? Listen to me. Officials. Listen what to me. Doing, okay, Stop. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. Stop. Right now. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I understand. It's a live stream. There's no evidence on the phone. You just turned it off, so there's nothing recording now. It is illegal in the state of Missouri to film us. The Supreme Court's already ruled no. that, sir. No. Bull. What Officer Casey is likely referring to is the widely misinterpreted 2017 8th Circuit Court case of Atkins v. Knight, which essentially affirmed a previous ruling that neither the public nor the media has a First Amendment right to videotape, photograph, or make audio recordings of government proceedings that are by law open to the public. Many officers attempt to use this language as a means to justify the notion that members of the public are not allowed to film the police carrying out their duties. But this is a misrepresentation of what the ruling truly implies. The Atkins case simply affirms that there are certain time, place, and manner restrictions on the freedom of the press protected by the First Amendment, and the Constitution does not guarantee an individual's right to record all government proceedings at any time. However, the 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, and 11th circuits have all ruled that the right to record police officers performing their official duties in a public place is clearly established, which will negate a claim of qualified immunity by police. Mr. Rankin is well within his rights to film any traffic stop, and the seizure of Mr. Rankin's phone by Officer Casey is illegal because no crime has been committed. I'm going to seize your phone Sir, as evidence. I suggest you don't do that. Oh, you, I don't care what you idea. suggest. You don't, you're being recorded right here. Okay. Let you've me lost, see your ID. You've lost your qualified immunity. Let me see what your ID. Do you understand what I just asked you? What Let me see your ID. You're interfering with my traffic stop. Let me see your ID. I'm on the other side of the street. It doesn't sir. matter. You're taking my attention away from my traffic stop because now I have to watch over here to see what you're doing to make sure you're not going to harm me. Therefore, you're interfering with my stop because I am now taking my attention away from my traffic stop. Do you understand what I just said? The act of recording alone is not a legal basis for interference. And as stated before, Many circuit courts have affirmed that ruling. The court's primary rationale for allowing the recording of police officers is that the First Amendment includes the right to freely discuss our government, the right of freedom of the press, and public access to information. The courts have found that freedom of the press applies to citizen journalists, documentarians, and individuals just as it does to formal members of the press. Uniformed officers may legitimately order citizens to cease recording if the recording is interfering with or obstructing their law enforcement duties, but the circumstances surrounding those orders must present a legitimate danger to the officer or others. An officer cannot order anyone to stop recording simply because he chooses to divert his attention to that person. Give me your ID. But I'm telling you Give me, listen, I don't want your explanation. I don't want your explanation. Do you understand that? Oh, uh, I understand. Okay, then. Great. Now do we understand each other? Here you go. 
Stand right here in front of my patrol car. Stand in front of my patrol car. And I'm just telling it. You're not out here asking me questions. You understand that? Uh, yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. That's my opinion. I don't care what your opinion is. All right? Do you know what a, a felony is in the state of Missouri from being from Texas? I don't think so, okay? What did you say? No, there is no... Right. Where's your vehicle at, bud? Huh? Where? Where? Which one? Because I asked you where your vehicle is. Which one? Eight trucks back. Here's the deal, bud. You have no idea what's going on out here, okay? Exactly. So you have. Listen, listen. Stop interrupting me. Let me talk. When we're conducting a traffic stop with a well known drug dealer, I kind of figured that. So okay. Her out. I, I didn't make her do no, that. No, she no, did no, that no, all no. on her I, own. I have nothing against what you're doing. But you're I out here trying to record us and trying to act like you know the laws. No, what did I just say about interrupting me, bud? Am I letting you talk when you talk? Let me talk. Let me explain things. Okay? You're over here trying to act like, you know, you're one of them guys that want to quote the laws of the cops and act like you know everything and act like all this. I committed federal felonies. There's no such thing. You don't even know what you're talking about, bud. Quite the contrary. Mr. Rankin appears to be relatively well informed about his rights and the rights associated with recording the police. It is blisteringly ironic how Officer Casey's ignorance of the law is the basis for which he makes the determination that Mr. Rankin is wrong and ignorant of the law himself. This attitude is far too prevalent within the law enforcement community and Officer Casey is a prime example of the inflated ego syndrome that often clouds the judgment of officers when interacting with members of the public. In the mind of the egocentric officer, members of the public are expected to know the law so that they can obey it, but not know the law well enough to ensure that officers obey it. Alright, I've done nothing wrong. I'm well within my rights to do my job. Like I said, you're over here interfering with my stop because now I see you over here. I see something, a red light flashing at us occasionally. I don't know if that's a laser. I don't know what that is. Not only is there no blinking red light on Mr. Rankin's phone, but there is no light at all coming from his phone, and it seems as though Officer Casey just made that up in a shallow attempt to justify his actions. There was some sort of red light coming off of your phone. I saw it several times. That's what caught my attention over here, okay? That's what caught my attention over here. So, therefore, you are now interfering with my stop because now I have to take my attention off of this stop to watch you and see what you're doing. To make sure that you're not sitting over here with a weapon that's going to hurt me or my partner or the people that we have stopped over here. I don't know you. I don't know what you're doing over here. Does that make sense to you? Oh, what you're saying makes sense. I don't agree. It doesn't matter if you agree or not. Okay? okay? That's what you're doing. Okay. Now, I can seize this phone if I want to, get a search warrant, and search it for any evidence pertaining to my traffic stop if you'd like me to do so. No, I wouldn't. Then I would I suggest... You find it, I it doesn't matter. It's still on your phone somewhere or somehow. No, that's not how it works. But I it, it is how it works, buddy. Okay? I would suggest you get back in your vehicle, let us do our job. We have more than enough no officers over here. What's that? I had no intention of interfering. But that's what you were doing. And your opinion? Uh, no, it's not my opinion. That is, by statute, what you were doing. You took my attention off of my traffic stop. I now had to take my attention and turn it towards you, which is interfering with what I'm doing over there. I would disagree. suggest you get, I don't care what you agree with or disagree with, I would suggest you get in your vehicle, bud, have a good night. Okay. We have more than enough officers over here that know what we're doing. And I wasn't trying to interfere, but, I wasn't on but her you side, were. I wasn't on but her you side, were. just watch me. But you were. That's what you're failing to understand here, bud. And my reasonable opinion, 
I'll let you know, is that what you just did was illegal. What? I'm not going to do anything against you. What was illegal? Uh, unlawful detention, unlawful seizure, I, violation of First Amendment rights. Supreme First Court's, Amendment rights? Yes, sir. I, First how did I... Freedom of the press. No. You seized my phone. Yeah. You illegally detained me. You illegally no, I didn't illegally no detain you. You have no RAS of a crime. No what? The Supreme Court's already ruled that obstruction, interference... Is a crime on. here in the city of Peabody. I'd have to be close to you. No, actually, you don't. No. For it to actually nope. The exact distance that should be maintained from a traffic stop while recording has not been clearly established by higher courts, but according to the Officer Safety Guide on the Public Recording of Police Activities issued by the International Association of Chiefs of Police, recording parties must maintain a reasonable distance from the officers engaged in enforcement or related police duties and may not physically position themselves in a manner that obstructs officers from performing their duties. Although higher courts have not established a definitive distance, many courts have ruled in favor of recording police from as little as 15 feet away, but each instance is highly circumstantial and the required distance varies on a case-by-case -case basis. Mr. Rankin was approximately 200 feet away from the traffic stop being conducted by Officer Casey. Nope. Yeah, nope. it is. No. And even Do you realize the distance a rifle could shoot? Yes, but yeah. guess what? Therefore, so it, I don't... Is it, is listen. It, is it a constitutional carry state? It doesn't matter. If you so, have a weapon no, pointed at me, that's just, not legal. Just that is not legal. If you have a weapon pointed at me, so that is not phone, legal. Did I pat you down? I don't know if you got anything on you. I don't. But on the other hand, it wouldn't be illegal for me to do that. I believe you guys just went constitutional carry. Yeah, we can open carry in this state. You're absolutely okay. right. So but having I a weapon been pointed been at me is two different things. First Amendment guys, what you're talking about. No. And I've been standing here with a rifle on my back. It would have been illegal for you to detain me then, too, unless I actually had first? it unsworn. I never detained you. Stand right here in front of my patrol car. Stand in front of my patrol car. My property, sir. I held on to your phone while I conducted our business. That has nothing to do. You could have turned around and walked away. You could have turned around and walked away. Nope. You could have turned around and walked away. Goodbye. Goodbye. If I have a good night. Are you going to arrest me? Bye. I'm just asking a question. If I still stand here, are you going to I'm saying goodbye to you. If I stand here, are you going to arrest me? If you start recording us again and interfering with my stop, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to seize your phone and I'm going to arrest you for interfering. Here, Officer Casey openly admits that the act of recording will be the basis for his arrest of Mr. Rankin and willfully surrenders any shred of a claim that he may have had for qualified immunity. Once again, with my stop. So I would suggest, yeah, it's right here, bud. That's all I need. Thanks. Following this interaction, Mr. Rankin filed a lawsuit against Officer Casey and the city of Peavley, alleging that the officer violated his rights protected by the 1st, 4th, and 14th Amendments. Prior to the filing of this lawsuit, Officer Casey was fired from the Peavley Police Department in relation to a separate event involving the abuse of a prisoner. This lawsuit is still ongoing and no rulings have been made. Overall, Mr. Rankin gets an A for being well informed about his rights and maintaining a collected composure during his interaction with Officer Casey. Although Mr. Rankin did surrender his ID in the face of the officer's intimidation, he calmly asserted his rights and tried his best to educate the officer. Mr. Rankin has a good case on his hands and it is likely that he will receive a generous settlement for his troubles. Officer Casey gets an F for perfectly demonstrating everything that is wrong with modern law enforcement culture. Officer Casey made up lies and fake laws to justify his actions and threatened to arrest Mr. Rankin for a constitutionally protected activity. Officer Casey's ignorance of the law is a danger to society and no one who is as confrontational and egotistical as Casey should be charged with authority over others. As noted at the beginning of this video, the Peebly Police Department has been wrought with controversy over the last year and recently cost the city $300,000 in a settlement involving police brutality. Since then, multiple officers, including the chief, have been fired 
and it appears as though the Peebly Police Department is making an effort to restore its relationship with its community. Hopefully that includes respecting the rights of its citizens. Let us know if there's a legal topic or interaction you would like us to cover in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more police interaction content.